Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of graph transformations, specifically parent and child function relationships, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So in Algebra 1 we have this concept of a parent function. So I've graphed over here just a really basic f of x equals x. So that's direct variation. It has a slope of 1, has no y-intercept goes through the origin. And our question is, if this is our parent function right here, what happens to some of these child functions? If we take the parent function, f of x equals x, and what we do is we start messing with it just a little bit. So take a look at this first child function right here. All I did was add an a in front of the f of x, but what we're going to notice is that is going to affect the slope or the steepness in this child function. And so the slope, let's say I make my a 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 5. Well, you're going to notice here that my new function is going to get very, very steep right there. I could make it a negative 5. Or, and if I did that, well, now it's going to be a negative slope. Right? And it's also going to be a lot steeper. So as you start messing with the child function here, what you're going to notice is that is if you have a multiplier right there on the outside of the f of x, you're messing with the steepness, or you're adjusting the steepness of the slope. You can make it positive, you can make it negative, or if you make it a decimal, right? So let's say that you want to make this uh, 0 0.2. Well, now what we're going to do here is we're going to make it a lot shallower. So instead of being more s steep, it's going to be a lot less steep. Now that's what happens if we uh, mess with the multiplier on the outside of the parent function. What happens if we just add something, just add a constant to the end of a function? Well, in this child function here, this plus d, you notice this looks a little bit like our slope-intercept form. So we're not changing the slope at all. We're just changing the y-intercept right here. So this is going to shift it. So if I were to take that d right there, and if I were to make that a, uh, a 5, well, then I'm just going to take my function, and I'm just going to shift it up 5. Right? My y-intercept is going to go up 5 right here. But if I were to make this a negative 10, well, I'm going to shift it down 10, and it's going to come way down here. So let's see what that looks like on an actual graph. So I've got the basic function here, f of x equals x. I'm going to put another function on top of it. This g of x equals a f of x plus d. It's going to be green. But you notice I've got these sliders right here. So right now my d is 0. So it's sitting right on top of the purple one. And then my a is 1, which means I'm not changing it at all. But let's start with our d first. You notice, our, remember our d, our plus d, is going to shift it up or down. So watch what happens when I slide this up and down. This is simply changing the y-intercept. And if you loop it right here, you'll see it just shifts up and down. And so when we add that plus d, we're not changing the slope of our graph at all. We're simply shifting it up or down or translating it up or down. Now let's see what happens. Let's get this back to a plus 0 so it goes through the origin again. Now we're going to start messing with this a. Right? So you notice here that what I'm doing is I'm changing the slope, changing the steepness. And so as I slide this back and forth, Right? I'm going to just change the slope, so let's loop this and see what happens. It gets really steep, gets flat for just a moment, gets steep with a negative slope. And so notice right here, we kind of missed it because it goes really quick. Look what happens when we change this to zero. That means that all we're doing here is we're just negating the slope. A slope of zero means a straight horizontal line. And if we were to do that, we could just shift it up and down with that y-intercept. But that is how we are going to adjust our graph based on changing the slope or changing the y-intercept.